never waste a good crisis. And when it comes to the economic crisis, don't waste it when it, it can have a very positive impact. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. The way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to win over uh, hearts and minds. And what that means is we've got to invest in countries that uh, have no educational infrastructure, have no uh, means for young people to, to get ahead. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Stay tuned for Politics and Religion. And do we have a lot to talk about today on Open the Line? This is your day. The number to call is 877-END-TIME to be on the program with us. Uh, this article comes to us from Al Arabia newspaper. This was actually published on the 7th of this month. And it's the statement by Ahmadinejad, the leader of Iran. U.S. wants to stop mankind's savior. Now, you probably already know that Muslims, particularly the branch of which Ahmadinejad is a member, believe that the the 12th Imam, better known as the Mahdi, is coming, and that's somewhat like their Messiah figure. Uh, They believe that he has been in a well for the last 1,000 years and that he will come back very soon to be the savior of the world. Now then, Ahmadinejad, who fervently believes in this, uh, says that he thinks the, U- thinks the U.S. is attempting to stop the coming of the Mahdi. Now, one thing that's very interesting about this belief, they say that two years before the, re- the Mahdi is revealed, there is going to be a major war. They also believe that Iran is to be involved in this war and will also prepare the way for the Mahdi. Uh, they believe that Iran will support the Mahdi when he actually gets here. Let me give a, a couple of paragraphs. This comes out of Dubai. Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, said he has documented evidence that the United States is doing what it can to prevent the coming of the Mahdi, the imam that Muslims believe will ultimately uh, save the world and be the savior of mankind. We have documented proof that they, the United States, believe that a descendant of the Prophet of Islam, a descendant of Muhammad, will raise in these parts in the Middle East, and he will dry the roots of all injustice in the world. The hardline president said, addressing an audience of families of those killed during the 1980s war against Iraq. He went on to say, They have devised all these plans to prevent the coming of the hidden imam because they know that the Iranian nation is the one that will prepare the grounds for his coming and will be the supporters of his rule. So you can understand from this why Iran could be tempted to drive toward nuclear power. Now, we know that Ahmadinejad contends that the only thing they really want is nuclear power for their power plants so that they can have electricity, even though Iran has one of the largest deposits of oil reserves anywhere in the world. So many people have said, why do they need nuclear power? They're absolutely up to their knees in uh, ankle, uh, up to their knees in oil that they can use to power their industries. Nonetheless, Ahmadinejad replies that they need that power to sell uh, to the nations of the world so they can create the capital to enrich the nation of Iran to allow it to become what they want it to become. Well, that's the dispute that is raging. So here we have this man, Mr. Ahmadinejad, who is driving toward becoming a nuclear power, and he is contending that this imam has been at the bottom of a well for the last 1,000 years and will soon appear uh, to restore the greatness of the nation of Iran. 
So what do we do about all this? He says the United States is trying to stop that, that there are people in the U.S. that truly believe that the imam is just around the corner. And so they intend to destroy the nation of Iran before it has a chance to uh, help this imam come to power. Now, do you believe that any nation can stop the coming of the Messiah? If you're a Christian, do you believe there's any nation that would be able to prevent the coming, uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ to this earth? Obviously, the answer to that is no. If you have a savior that the United States can stop from coming, then I doubt seriously that savior is going to be able to save the world. Uh, I would rather believe in a savior that no one's going to be able to stop. The only thing that's holding him back right now is the time clock of Almighty God himself.